Long before birth, initial studies on abnormalities in the womb can be carried out. But how safe are the procedures at the moment, and how useful is it to offer all pregnant women such a screening? Annegret Geipel, a professor of prenatal medicine. Für viele Schwangere, also vor allen Dingen mit einem Altersrisiko, und das sind so circa 25 Prozent der Schwangeren. For many pregnant women, especially 25 percent in Germany with an age risk, first trimester screening has the advantage that one can assess the individual's risk of the pregnant woman much better. Most of the women who carry out this investigation can go home with a normal result and do not require invasive diagnostic procedures. During the medical examination, we also look at the anatomy and can usually say there is an inconspicuous development. Thanks to the specific diagnosis, we can rule out many developmental disorders. If something should be found, often prenatal therapies and a closer monitoring of pregnancy is possible. During the birth, the necessary specialists can wait in the wings. A harmless method is the ultrasound, which is gladly accepted by the pregnant woman. More so to speak, non-invasive procedures include blood tests, Thanks to the invasive diagnostics, which usually require a puncture, questions such as the number of chromosomes can be answered. But also an infection diagnosis can be detected, or we can discuss, for example, whether a child suffers under anemia. Um, these things are actually possible. Although the methods of prenatal diagnosis are getting better and better, not always doctors can provide a 100% accurate diagnosis. An example is the diagnosis of Down syndrome that is not always foolproof. The Sicherheit der Ultraschalldiagnostik steht und fällt sicherlich mit. The safety of ultrasound diagnosis is dependent on the safety of the examiner. It's all about recognition or exclusion. It requires long experience to be trained in ultrasound. Of course, we have some findings that cannot primarily be classified. We are sometimes confronted with information that has no clinical significance in itself, but that can be a hint for a disease of the child, but it cannot stand alone as an evidence. If a doctor likes to clarify such a finding, often an invasive procedure is necessary. These methods have, of course, the disadvantage that they are associated with a risk of miscarriage, so we just use them very cautiously. If abnormalities are found, we will discuss this with the patient. We generally consider to consult colleagues, that is, with a heart defect, such as the pediatric cardiologist or the pediatric surgeon. Of course, we also offer a psychological counseling so that parents will be informed about offers of help or to make contacts. However, a prenatal test can calm insecure women during pregnancy, but one should be alert to the fact to which consequences a striking finding may lead to.